Hello and welcome to this, the Zero AD Champions Cup. We have Feld Feld in the blue corner and Borg in the red. Six ladies coming out from Feld Feld and the same for Borg. A few buildings going down. A Potomi is another one of these civilizations that can build free houses. What? So they can build free th free houses. There are three different types of ranged infantry that they can build from the barracks, and they can build elephants and siege weapons from the fortress. Are you telling me this civilization is not overpowered? I, th I think maybe this civilization's a little overpowered. Just saying. Six sk is that skirmishes. And for Borg and four for Feldfeld. Baskets coming out over here. Farmstead yet to come out. No. No wicker baskets for Borg. He would have already done it. And five ladies. Interesting. Skirmishes. Ladies, then skirmishes, then ladies. Then camel archers. I wonder if he'll do the same thing. No, skirmishes. Just back and forth, one and then the other, one and then the other. A lady type and then an infantry, uh, cavalry type, attacking type. There's the little uh, window over here that shows the stats, but this is a little easier to read. So I'll pop this up every now and then. Not too much going to be different in the early game. But every now and then, have a look. I like uh, these farmsteads, the farmsteads that are just for the camels to bring back food for. Two. Another one over here, farmstead just for these. It's... Every little bit counts a lot. These games are to, can be determined by seconds. A, a second of difference between you and your opponent. Borg, five in the lead in population, three camels, felt more camels for Feld and four more for Borg. Another one over here. Oh, for this patch. Huh. That is very interesting. It's good. I like if if that's what you're going to be doing, getting a lot of cav out to to. I, I keep wanting to say farm. Hunt, hunt. That's it. To, to hunt and uh, for food, then you want to get these, some of those further out. A Borg ahead in every major recess. Wow, I can't speak. Borg ahead in every major resource at the moment. Population, food, and wood. Stone and metal will not become a major 
resource until second and fir third phase. Third phase. In fact, Gaia has the most metal currently. Five more and six more. Always a different amount. I think Borg always is always making one more than Feldfeld. Fifteen ladies. Fifteen ladies coming out here for Feldfeld. Probably gonna going to go right ahead and chuck down three farms, I would say. Or four. There's already a set of ladies ready. For one farm. Racks going down. Plenty of buildings queued up that he's not going to get capped anytime soon. The raiding party going in. I'm just going to switch to the micro camera. So you see what he's doing. Yeah, he, okay, okay, so he's got two command groups. He's got three camels on one command key and the other one's on another. And he's switching between the two and using the smaller set of camels, the three to duke with, and the larger set as its main attack force. Farm number three, farm number four. Meanwhile, Borg constantly having to pay attention to enemy camels. Back to Feldfeld. Feld. He's doing a good job of doing the harass and also keeping his base big. And even, I like that, having, uh, having them collect food on the way back from an attack. Borg has been on point with the, the wood collection, definitely. Or perhaps his composition doesn't require as much. Currently. Feldfeld coming in for another little uh, attack now. Borg has been uh, putting low health units back inside the town centre to recuperate on occasion. Look at this micro. Just a little bit of wiggliness can stop an arrow from hitting you. You should be wiggling as you're going towards in that kind of situation. Or just, just a lot of wiggle. Look at this micro. Look at this micro. 
wiggling. Just changing the location. It may not even seem on the camera like they can avoid things, but every time you click, as long as something's in the air, you'll avoid it. Basically. Like, with, within a bit of leeway. I, it's not, I don't think, I'm not certain if that's an absolute determining factor. But, uh... It's something. Borg coming in now and... Was able to destroy something, maybe what looks like might have been a barracks before it could be built. Borg coming in through the back way. Having a look at trying to hurt the economy of Feldfeld. Has not left himself much room to get out from here. Those, these will go down. Basically, most of them. I like that little bit of micro there. So you see, you, are you watching this? This is how you play Zero AD. Just, alright? Just soak all of this in. He would have lost all of those. Uh, you know, your average player would, would have lost all of those on the retreat. Not with this wiggling. You, 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 you ain't losing nothing with that kind of wiggly action. That's, uh, that's impacted the population quite heavily. Borg reaching town phase before Feld. doing very, very well on uh, the uh, tier 2 resources collection and usage. It's already collected quite and used quite a few more units of stone and metal. House cannot be built on another building or resource. Feldfeld reaching the town phase. Not far off a 2000 rank. I mean. Feldfeld's in the past here and Borg's in the future, but Feldfeld's in 1978 and Borg, Borg is in 2213. How appropriate is that though? If you go by the Star Trek, you know, because the Borg are all about future, future stuff and, um, I don't know. Feldfeld's about the past and I don't have a funny joke for that. I didn't even have a funny joke for the Borg, but I've, I've turned it into one by pointing that out. You see how that works? It's interesting, comedy. I don't want Gaia, I want Observer. There we go. Another raid coming in, just in and out. In and out of his vision. Popping in and out. That's why he's going ahead and getting the carrier pigeons to just, he just wants to know in advance. And you'd notice all of this, everything's being built to the back. Nothing much to the front, it's all back here. Like, the, these three spots, like, oh well I guess the minerals are there. But even if the minerals weren't there, 
You'd be building the farms away from your opponent be before you'd be b b building them towards. I think I, I said that sentence in the end. Vape just only slightly, but I got there. Going to t phase three, which is city, right? Servants and wedge and mallet really wants those tier two, two resources. I call them that, but I don't, you know. It's just because you start collecting them when you get to town. Generally. See this wiggling happening? I know I keep saying it, but it's so strong. It is ridiculously strong. I tried it in a live game against a person, an actual person, and not just AI not long ago, and oh my lord. It is so effective against anybody at my uh, rating level anyway. It's uh, yeah, it's something you want to you want to boost your rating. Start doing that. You'll you'll start winning games. <laughs> Dead set. Like you're just sending the bikeman in. He's just not even worrying about this. He's got other stuff to worry about. He just wants them to go away. He's just, just saying, go away, you. The military colony has come down. Probably the only disadvantage that the Potomis have is the military colony as opposed to a pro proper civic center. Well defended too. It's a it's a nice setup that he's got going here. And then you can chuck your uh, storehouse here and your farmstead here and grab these if you want to. Those berry bushes aren't really super much of a big deal. <laughs> At this point of the game, really, but I like to get them. You get some fast food, it's fast. It's, it's very fast. Oh, he, uh, Borg has got his... Tolmaios Acerta? Or Sorta. It depends which... Yeah, enunciation this language uses. <laughs> oh dear. The hero, anyway. He's got the hero out. From his uh, fortress and he's started doing things with it. On the offensive much earlier than Feldfeld. Feldfeld has actually not... <laughs> he's realized, oh dear, he's already going into fortress? I should, I need to get my fortress. I should get my fortress as well. I decided I should say that the first sentence that I'd only half said uh, again because it sounded like a swear, but I, it wasn't. It was just half a sentence, that's all. I swear. I s I swear I don't swear. It's a sentence. Losing the hero, but nah. It uh it did a thing. It did a thing. Which is you know, you want it to do a thing, you don't want it to do no things. It's got the uh, the camels there building. <laughs> I mean, what else do you do with you? You just select a whole bunch of units and say, build this. I don't care if half of these are camels, just build it, alright? As when you grab that elephant and you put it right on that uh, siege catapult. It'll destroy a siege catapult in like three hits before the well it'll destroy a siege catapult before the siege catapult can get off any hits basically these things take three or four seconds to load up uh, I don't want to die out on server there are many more units currently in the battle fulfilled but we have all of these wow the lag okay 
Yeah, it's uh, not looking good here for old Borgo. He's behind in every way. In each and every way. He's behind in population, food, wood, stone, and UK, whatever UK means. Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to actually go ahead and slow this down a little and get us right into this, into the action here. A little bit of micromanagement and he could have had his elephant destroying his elephant while his elephant was busy destroying just individual units. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing to do or not, but it's something. The siege should be doing okay, but it's not it's not impacting the population, don't worry, you're not missing. All you're missing is Borg losing population. That's that's what happened here. Hero versus hero. Can attack can attack once per second and can attack once every five seconds. <laughs> Is that how that works? Rate, five seconds. Rate, one second. Oh, okay, yep. It is how it works. Yeah, you, he could pretty much destroy it before 20 attack. There, he'd be fair on the way to destroy it. Like, an elephant is probably a good thing to do against one of those. Well, there's probably other things to do as well. What's Borgo doing? Borgo. A Borg line. Is it Borg line? It it is. Hmm. Or is that just a bug? Or is his name actually got the line on it? Hold on. It, it is, it's Borg line. It, it's Borg dash. I thought it was just Borg. I've been saying your name wrong this whole time. I'm sorry, man. Um, Borg dash is uh, taking his... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Borg's taking his units back over here now. I'm doing some stuff. Can't really see the action while that's happening, so I'll go back to observer. I mean, there sure are a lot of things happening, but uh, it certainly seems that Feldfeld made his things happen first, which is <laughs> which is all you need to win. He's got some of these smaller elephants. Coming out, doing some things. They're being microed down there. By the looks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Bog has nothing left at this point. Probably about time to resign. When, you, when your population is half that of the enemy. He should notice that pretty soon. Yeah, he noticed that right, yeah, exactly when he should have. It's like, oh no, I've lost. It's time to go. Feldfeld Field keeps it going for a little while and throws a few more javelin-y sticks. Yeah, so basically if you're playing multi, play Ptolemies or Brightons. That's basically... I don't think it's just meta game. I think, I think they actually are OP. <laughs> uh, yeah. Try it out. Try it out. Do that. Do what you saw just there on that screen. What Feldfeld did. It was. It was. That's what you want to do. All right. What's. What do we got here? The economy was fairly even. I mean. Uh, yeah, Borg just 
more on the metal and the stone, but failed forward more on the wood and the food. I actually think perhaps Borg transitioned to stone and metal early. <laughs> I don't know if I could really be critiquing the, critiquing the play of a 22-13 ranked person, but, but hey, look, I, I mean, I've got the numbers right here, buddy. <laughs> What am I talking about? I'm gonna go before I... Just... Just before anything happens. And I hope you have a good one and peace.